Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Good morning, Margaret. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Once again at my favorite spot. Up at the north end of Delnor Wiggins Pass State Park. The Wiggins Pass. Gorgeous morning here in North Naples. Pretty good breeze coming out of the, it feels like the Northeast. 78 degrees. We are at low tide right now. Sunrise is at 716. Right now, all eyes are on Tropical Storm Ian. Keeping our fingers crossed. Hopefully it will stay out in the Gulf, but the bad news is that puts the worst part of the storm, the worst part of the storms to the north east quadrant. We will definitely be seeing some effects from that. Well, there will probably be a hurricane soon. So all you can do is Keep your eyes on it and don't freak out. People are already panic buying in the stores. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Lines at gas stations. Gene, good morning. Jamie, good morning. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors here this morning. Susan, good morning. Welcome back. We missed you. you're with us now, Susan. Tony, good morning. Laura, good morning. Oh, keeping my fingers crossed, Tony. Oh, Lordy. Lord, it looks like Tuesday is going to be the day of reckoning here for Naples. We are definitely in the, the cone. <laughs> that cone. Tomorrow we'll have a good, a much better idea on what's going on. Hey Ryan, good morning, happy Saturday. If you don't have the Wink weather app on your phone yet, or tablet, put that on there, Wink, W-I-N-K, that's our local CBS affiliate. Their chief meteorologist, Matt Devitt, he's pretty darn good. As that storm gets closer, he'll be doing a lot of live feeds on Facebook from his home. 
He stays on top of it. So look for Matt Devitt on Facebook. Follow him as well. Matt, M-A-T-T, Devitt, D-E-V-I-T-T? -T? Might be two T's, D-E-V-I-T or two T. Matt Devitt. Good guy. I'll share a link to his Facebook page a little later today. It's super low here. Not super low, but it's not a super low tide. Don't misunderstand me there, but it's low here. You saw like this little lagoon's just about empty. Something big jumped out of the water earlier, just before I went live. Very close to shore, too. It might have been a big stingray. It's just a little too dark to tell for sure. It wasn't a dolphin, I kid you. Made a weird splash. not a real colorful sunrise this morning. I tried to get some pictures and this was kind of blah. What you saw was the best of it. This few minutes there when I first went live. Lots of, lots of Hades. Over on the eastern horizon, I don't know if it's haze or fog. Very hazy. Linda Brooks, happy Saturday, my friend. Good morning. And Karen Maxwell, Amanda, good morning. My Florida city peeps. Florida City Beach Peeps. So, tomorrow's the big day. Woohoo! Our Sunday morning boat ride with Captain Sunday. Captain Sunday and Boat Naples. That's pretty much right over my head. Right over my head. Skull walking. Surprised we haven't seen any gopher tortoises out walking on the beach in the morning when I'm out here. This is when they like to come out. You'll catch them out here in the sand, come out of the woods. I haven't seen, I haven't even seen any tracks on them lately. You can see them all along the edge of the trees here, their little tracks, and they come out. Looking for little fresh green sprouts out here. stars. I appreciate that.
Doni, you're not going to believe this one. I've got summon for jury duty the first week of October. Can you believe that? I don't think I'm going to get called. Got a very high number and a good excuse to get out of it. <laughs> It's just ironic. Now we get this storm and I get jury duty. Right when you're gonna be here. Good morning. Here you go, my friend. Look forward to seeing you next month and Scarlet. Good morning, Scarlet. Scarlet doing this morning. You happy? Are you happy? It's Saturday. Come on. Be happy. Sleepy? Oh, sleepy. Come on, sleepyhead. I'm the one doing the walking. I do the walking for you in the mornings. made some nice fresh hot donuts that it wake you up If you're just tuning in, we're up at Wiggins Pass up in North Naples, Florida, just waiting for sunrise. Then we're going to take a little stroll down the beach. That's our morning ritual. Don't be shy if this is your first time. Introduce yourself to everybody here. Say good morning. Let everybody know where you're watching from. We've got a great beach family here. This is our, the beach is our clubhouse, our virtual clubhouse, where we all get together in the morning, check in with each other. If anybody's feeling bad or got some problems in their life and they need some prayers, feel free to share your prayer requests. You don't have to go into a bunch of detail. If, say whatever you like. We're here to support each other. Strength in numbers. No such thing as too many prayers or too many friends. <laughs> Donnie, that's funny. Uh, you're a beachaholic, Donnie, I think. Shellaholic as well. I don't know if we're going to see that sun for a little while there. Unfortunately, there's no penalty for that crime, Domi. We'll let you sail scot-free.
102 years old. Darn it, I can't see whose mom that is. I can't see your name up there, but congratulations to your mom. And happy 102nd birthday. Holy cow. That is awesome, 102. We celebrated one of our friends' 98th a couple days ago, and that was fun. This tide is starting to come back in, which is a good thing. The water looks terrible right now here in the pass. Right at the end of low tide is when it usually looks its worst here. Sometimes it's all right, but usually it looks pretty bad. Just an ugly brown, <laughs> ugly, ugly brown color. Not very inviting. Give it an hour. A whole different look here. Yeah, that's why we don't see the dolphins when we're at low tide like this. They don't like the dirty water. I hear the church bells this morning. That's weird. Seven o'clock, you can usually hear them ringing. Hazy, hazy, misty. Misty Saturday morning. Hey Jackie, good morning. Steve, by the way, good morning. Happy Saturday. Ooh, thank you, Steve. I didn't notice if Janie was on yet.
my star man Steve. Cindy, good morning. And Randy, good morning. It's getting a little brighter behind me. Hmm, our birds aren't lined up here at the little point. They usually line up. Right about this time, all the egrets. Not one here. Hmm. Hey, Daryl, good morning. Happy Saturday. Hope you're feeling well this morning. color in the sky over here. It's going to be a little while, I think, before we see that sun. It's got some clouds to contend with here this morning. Cindy. Got a little glow there. our little feathered friends are this morning. Yeah, maybe they're going over to the other side of the pass. Maybe they're hanging out on the other side of the pass. We saw a couple flying 
past me. Halloween. <laughs> Oop -a -dee -doop -a -dee -doo. Good morning. Good morning, happy Saturday. Start to light up a little bit more over here, but on a scale of one to ten, this is probably about a what would you say, a three, four? Once that sun gets a bit higher. It's actually very pleasant out here temperature wise. It doesn't even feel like 78, it feels less than that, lower than that. Amen to that one, Jackie. I get spoiled coming out here. I see so many beautiful sunrises. That sky just exploding with color.
spot anymore. We'll go for another. This is crawling around. They're all over the park here. I just have not seen any of them near beach walks lately. It's to always be crawling out of the woods here in the morning. Right around sunrise. Any signs of me? There are any little footprints? Hmm. Hey, William. Good morning, Billy. Good morning, my friend. Somebody asked if this storm was a, still a threat to us. Well, nobody knows that yet. The answer is yes, it's still a threat. Until it's gone, it's always a threat. We are right in the, almost the dead center of the cone. Tomorrow will be the day of reckoning when we will start deciding on what to do, stay, leave, already panic buying in the stores. <laughs> Pouring water, lining up at the gas stations. It's better to be safe than sorry, but there's no reason to hoard things. that any of any gas stations within I forget how many miles three miles or five miles of the interstate have to have generators which is a good thing there's the sun it just popped up over the trees orange. Believe me, it looks white on the camera. Hey, thanks, Daryl. I'll have a piece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a strawberry cake for their grandson's birthday. Mm, boy, doesn't that sound yummy. Say good morning to Rose. Good morning, sweetheart. Well, there it is. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome.
walkers over on the other shore there, the north shore of the pass. And Maybe taking a break here shortly and then starting live feed number two up. I'm gonna do two live feeds, that's all this morning. I don't think I'm gonna have any pictures to share later today. It was just kind of a blase sunrise. But we'll probably have some interesting things to share in the upcoming days. As Tropical Storm Ian approaches and strengthens. Might have some interesting beach walks ahead of us. And don't forget, tomorrow's the boat ride. Tomorrow is our boat ride. That live feed will be starting around 7, depending on when. Captain Sandy picks us up. Looking forward to that. Hopefully we'll get lucky and find some dolphins. Boat Naples, Boat Naples, Boat Naples. Takes you for a nice little peaceful, quiet tour of the local waterways here up in North Naples. Very reasonable rates, BoatNaples.com. Instead of booking online, I would suggest that you call Captain Sandy, call the number, and let her know that you are my friend, and uh, who knows what will happen. Maybe she'll charge you more. <laughs> or maybe she'll give you a little discount. You never know. Tell her you're my friend. You're part of the Southwest Florida Television Beach family. One of the nice things about her boat is you can take your little fur baby along. I don't think if you have a Great Dane that's going to work too well. But if you got a small pup, you can take your pups out there on the water with you. Pet friendly boat tours. Hopefully the weather's going to cooperate tomorrow. It should be nice tomorrow. Monday, Tuesday, not so. Right now, Tuesday is what they're saying is going to be the worst. Hey, if you're liking what you're seeing, tell your friends. Tell your friends about our beach walks. Remember, share, share, share. Help me spread the word.
And of course, if you appreciate what I do here, coming out here early in the morning for you, you can show your appreciation by sending some stars on Facebook. I get a penny per star. Just got a hundred stars there. I just got a dollar in stars. Thank you. Appreciate that. Tips, hugely appreciated. Tips are hugely appreciated. And you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. If you'd like to send what I call a little token of appreciation. I do have a Venmo account. It's just my name, Rob, R-O-B-B. -B. I think there's a underscore Stan, S-T-A-N. You just put my name in, Rob, with two Bs. Stan with one N, and my Venmo account will pop up in Venmo. Venmo is a little better than PayPal. Less fees right now. Everybody's got fees. Gotta make money. You can't do that stuff for free, right? It's called business. All right, I'm gonna bring this live feed to an end. In a few minutes, we'll be live feed number two. So stay tuned. You got time to go freshen up your coffee, do whatever needs to get done, grab the newspaper. I'll be back. But if I don't see you later, have an awesome, awesome Saturday. And until next time, stay safe. Stay healthy and stay strong. Tally-ho, my friends. Tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless. Hopefully we'll see you in part two, Connie. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. It's going to be fun. I think we're going to have good weather tomorrow morning. That might be the last of it for a few days. All right, I'll be back. Stay tuned. Tally-ho, God bless.